Hello there, I'm Martin Tracy and I just wanted to introduce myself. Um, just to give you a little bit about my background. I started off not as a psychologist but as a physicist. I did a degree in physics at Oxford University. And then after that I did research in atmospheric physics. And that was a department that did a lot of research with uh, NASA, uh, which really fitted in with my childhood enthusiasm for space science. So I really used to love it when we contacted the Goddard Space Flight Center for satellite operations on a Sunday. But then I got fascinated by Eastern philosophy, and it's quite interesting the way I got into that. I was a very keen squash player at the time. And what I did, I have started practicing meditation as a way to become a better squash player. So I used to do a bit of mindfulness meditation, Buddhist meditation technique, just before I go into the squash court. And then I found that that produced not only better squash, but also gave me some tremendous insights into uh, my mind and the nature of consciousness. I became so fascinated by that, I actually decided to leave physics and study this full time. Now after a while, I actually decided to integrate the Eastern approaches I've been studying with Western psychology. So I decided to do a, a degree with the Open University in psychology. Uh, after I completed that, went pretty well, I was offered a, a studentship by the Open University to do a full time PhD at the OU headquarters in Milton Keynes. I did that on what I'd been studying, integrating Eastern and Western approaches to personal growth. Uh, and that's based on a uh, subject called transpersonal psychology. You can look that up on Wikipedia if you want to find out more about it. But roughly speaking, it's about the psychology of spiritual experience. During the time I was doing that PhD, I also helped to co-found with two colleagues, David Fontana and Ingrid Slack, the transpersonal psychology section of the British Psychological Society. And this helped to give it an official status within Britain. Once I've completed my PhD, since then I've been uh, working as an Open University tutor and I tutor on all four levels of the Open University from openings, uh, level one course, uh, the exploring psychology course at level two and social psychology at level three. And I've also helped to write a couple of OU courses. And I'm still an OU student myself as well. Since I finished my PhD, I've done a degree in politics and religious studies and I'm currently doing the OU master's degree in religious studies. But please do feel free to contact me if you've got any more questions. I actually see it as my job to do everything I can to help you through your studies. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm still an OU student myself, so I do know what it feels like. The best way to reach me is probably by email. There's got a number of different advantages for email. Firstly, it's very quick and convenient if you've just got a simple question to ask. Secondly, if it's a more complex question, it gives me a chance to think it over, because sometimes I need to reflect carefully on the best advice to give you. And finally, it actually gives you a record of what I've said which is much more convenient than having to scribble down notes in a, in a phone call. But you can contact me by phone as well. We can arrange that by email if you actually need a phone call for some reason. So that's also possible. So I really wish you the best in your studies this year and be certain that I'm there to do everything I can to help you through them and hopefully be a friendly voice on the other end of the email or phone if you need any support. <laughs>